Hello and welcome. The movie that we are going to review today is Praktum. Now, why am I doing review of a movie that came out a couple of years ago? I am doing a review because it is assumed at this given time that the upcoming movie Jalebi is based on Praktum. Now, Praktum was a movie about a very complicated relationship in hindsight. The relationship was not continuing at the time the narrative of the movie starts. That's why the name is Praktum or former. Now, the movie was based on a couple that divorced some time back and by the luck of chance, the wife who divorced her husband ends up in the same train, in the same compartment as the next wife of her former husband. So, that was the setup. Riduparna Sen Gupta, who is an architect, gets on a train from Mumbai bound for Havra. And when she comes to her seat, she realizes that she is sharing that particular compartment with a young woman and her baby girl. Now, these two people start interacting, the two ladies in the compartment, uh, the baby also, the small girl also gets involved in the whole process and a strong bond starts creating between them only for Rituparna to realize that the lady in question is her former husband's current wife. It's a story that comes a full circle. Neither Prasenjit nor Rituparna had had any closure when it came to their relationship. Rituparna had abruptly left uh, her husband. Prasenjit was not able to understand. He, at that point of time, he was not mature enough, according to me, to understand what exactly went wrong in that relationship. It's a very, very complex movie. It's a movie that's based on complex emotions. And at the same time, the movie is very simple in its presentation. There are a couple of distractions in the form of a musical band kind of scenario playing in one of the compartments and an elderly lady, Sabitri Chatterjee, with her husband, Somitro Chatterjee, in another compartment. Now, all that is din. All that is basically just noise. The real story is being played out in a few square feet area of a compartment. There are flashbacks, good times, bad times, worse times. The movie's message is very muddled. Prosenjit's character is almost like two different roles altogether. It looks like a double role. You will not be able to identify the Prosenjit who is married to Aparajita from the Prosenjit who was married to Rituparna. Rituparna and Prasenjit's marriage was full of shortcomings of the husband. At one point of time, the wife simply shuts herself off from the marriage and walks away. The shutdown is not abrupt, it's very gradual, but the husband is not able to see that shutdown. It's a very complex story, it's a very complex emotion. And people have called this movie's message flawed. I have called its message layered. It's not a one-dimensional movie. Prosenjit's character, the transformation that he goes through from Prosenjit A or Prosenjit of Rituparna to Prosenjit B, Prosenjit of Aparajita. Now, these two Prosenjits, the curve of this character is the crux of the story. How does he come from being a callous, careless husband to one of the most doting and caring one? Who teaches him that? Rituparna does that. Does Rituparna get the benefit of, of her teaching? No, she doesn't. Perhaps she's in a loveless marriage, still yearning for Prasenjit, as you can see in the last scene. But Prasenjit seems to be at a very happy place in his life. This movie deserves a sequel. It deserves the story of Rituparna to be told from her angle. Maybe someday we'll see that. Maybe someday we won't. Nandita Roy and Shiva Prashad Mukherjee, the two directors, the director duo of this movie, have done an excellent job. They have created nuances, they have created small nudges through which you can understand the psychology of a particular person. In order to understand the Prosenjit husband who was with Rituparna wife, you have to look at his family setup. You have to look how he has idolized his woman. His woman for him was his mother. His mother, he wanted his wife to be just a mirror image of her mother. Not going to happen. Your mother was a Housewife, this woman is not. Then, 
the second marriage. Aparajita becomes mirror image of her mother-in-law. She leaves her job. She becomes a housewife. And at the same time, Prasenjit has tried to become more like the man Rituparna wanted. Somebody who was there to hold her hand. Somebody who cherished every moment, including her, not excluding her. The movie belongs to Aparajita and Rituparna because they they create, they set up the story. The first half of the story, Prasenjit is not in the train. He is not there. It's basically these two women and Rituparna's memories that create the first half of the story. Even when Prasenjit comes into the picture, in the second half, he doesn't say much. It is his charm that pulls him through. It is his unspoken message that gets through to Rituparna. I will recommend this movie for anyone who wants to see it. If you can understand Bangla, that much power to you, that much understanding will be clear. But if you don't understand Bangla, even then, just by looking at the visuals, you will be able to understand the story. Rituparna's eyes, at the moment when she is about to embark on a vacation and her husband says, I won't be able to come along. The longing in her eyes, the helplessness on her face, the pain in her character, that was enough of a return from the movie ticket. If Jalebi is able to capture 20% of whatever happened over here, I'll say it's a success. But I doubt it because the maturity, the complete non, I mean, it's a non-existence of commercialization in this movie, that is the crux of the movie. I doubt if the Bhat camp is, is still in a position to create something that doesn't have commercial aspect to it. This girl was not scantily clad. She just wanted to wear a sleeveless, which her husband didn't allow. There is a lot of subtlety in this movie, which I doubt Mahesh Bhatt Camp today has the capability to pull off. They used to be masters at subtlety. But this is not Mahesh Bhatt, the director. This is Mukesh Bhatt, the producer. So if you come out of Jalebi a little disappointed, go ahead and watch Prakta. And you will regain your faith in good cinema. Ami Anupam, 8 Todays, Arapnar, Amar Bondhu. Thank you.